Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to talk about Overpass today and the state of its competitiveness as a map. Um, kind of want to get the community's um, opinion on what they think of Overpass, if they think it's a great map competitively and spectator-wise to watch, or if they think it needs, you know, some changes, and what changes do you think need made? Um, so just going off... Oh, that these cranes moved. Didn't even know that. Okay, so... Um, some of my opinions here. So some of the changes that even Valve did on the A site here. I do think A site is the issue. It comes down to the issue at the A site. Um, is that they changed this from stairs to this this box and spools. And really this makes the, the map no less CT sided at all. Is what I'm assuming they were going for. Um, this makes it no less CT sided at all. And it just makes for bad gameplay. So I do not like this change at all. I would rather just have it stairs. Um... Or just make it a different way into the bomb site, but this makes it no less CT sided and just makes for sloppy gameplay. Um, this whole hallway back here, I think, could get completely deleted, um, like this, so that you can't rotate and have an op from this bomb site right here, and have them two and a half seconds later, maybe not even two and a half seconds later, seeing into the other bomb site. Um, I think that could cut along with the rotates, which we can talk about as well. CT side setups or CT time. CT side rotates and punishing a team for playing the wrong setups um, is really non-existent on overpass since you can get to the other bomb sites so quickly um, so yeah other than this just being an issue with rotating times I think this is a very sloppy design here um, just the way these these steps are angled and everything uh, I think it's pretty sloppy I mean I think this this back hall could be deleted and then this steps to the heaven could just be kind of cut this off here and just make it straight up like this to kind of make it more smoother gameplay um, and more, you know, just, just smoother gameplay, man. Um, Cash did really well with making their map from the early version of Go to the current version of Cash. It's a lot smoother and uh, it just makes for better gameplay. Um, so I think the, the rotate times here on the A site to the B site is a pretty big issue. And let's just give a couple examples to counter that nuke. Um, you can be in the A bomb site, then be in the B bomb site within seconds because of the vents. Um, yes, that is true, and nuke has its own issues. Um, I guess we could, you could also say that we already have a map that you can rotate like that. So, um, But nuke, for example, you can get into this A bomb site by more than one way on nuke. For example, you can split mini, you can go squeaky, you can go hut and heaven. Um, and that causes, or, you know, that entails a lot more gameplay, a lot better timing and teamwork to actually execute that correctly. And this A bomb site, you just have one way of entering the site, this choke point here. Um, and that's it. You're not going to come from CT spawn ever, ever. So this is literally the only way you're going to come to this bomb site. Um, and so the other person can easily rotate out, even if you're not there. Um, the other example, I guess you could say, is I think this map is pretty boring competitively uh, and spectator-wise because you just smoke this choke point off and it, then this becomes a very popular thing. We can talk about the other change Valve made. Um, you could also say this about Inferno. It has one choke point at B, but once again, the other bomb site on Inferno is about 15 seconds away um, and not two and a half seconds. So um, that causes for a lot more important uh, CT side setups and CT side pulls, fakes. Fakes actually work on that map. Um, so yeah, I, I just don't think fakes and decent T-side strategy and CT-side setups are that really important on Overpass, which is sad because um, CSGO is really at a peak and it's competitive right now, and I don't think Overpass is on par with uh, what CSGO is right now. So um, the other thing that Valve did was extend the site out to here so people can plant. So all that's been doing is it's not really... I mean, I guess it's making it a little bit more T-sided, but that's just making for sloppy strategy now. People are just smoking off this. They're making smoke balls and then just planting in it, and that's the strategy. Um, so if Counter-Strike comes down, they're just throwing two smokes and planting in it and running away. I think that makes for a very poor spectator sport and competitive sport. Um, so I think that makes it sloppy as well. Um, so yeah, they just plant in it, and then they just come back here. And, you know, you can just get a boost over here, watch the bomb, come back into the bathroom, watch the bomb for the after plant. Um, so I think the, the, the changes on the A site really just make the, the map even sloppier to play and not fun at all. Um, I really think it is the A bomb site that's having the troubles here. I think the B bomb site overall has a pretty good layout. I mean, it has a good, 
uh, a good feel to it. It's got two different kind of pits. It's got its own unique feel. Um, it has this big cylinder thing here, which is, you know, not very common on any map. So I think this map is, um, this site here is competitively viable, um, and it's good. I think it has to do with this bomb site here, um, and the rotating time from this bomb site to the other. I think if this bomb site was just dragged a little bit, even to right here, I think it could increase the competitiveness and the overall feel of the map on Terra side and CT side, making CT side setups important. Um, people that are out of position or not in the correct position should be punished more. And, you know, T side, making this side of the map even useful to take. Um, so if, if we just drug this map or this site over just a little bit, and you can make this back haul here, this long A, Maybe to have it wrap into the site right here instead of connecting back into the one choke point. Um, so even if you did that and made like the site wrap around like this, maybe make this choke point a little bit further over here. Um, or just make it a little bit tighter even. Just for uh, if you're going to have two openings, you might as well not have them both be really huge. Or if you want... Um, yeah, I mean, just, just dragging this site over, making more use of even this side of the map, it's kind of... It just doesn't feel right working this side of the map at all as a terrorist or a CT side. It seems, seems kind of like, hmm, useless. Um, so, I think this map's pretty dry competitively and spectator-wise, and if it's going to be in the map pool, I definitely would like some changes. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, what would you change? What would you keep, I guess, um, or do you think it's perfect? Uh, just comment in the video below, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, thank you, guys, for watching. Bye.